everybody, this is Shonda, and today's video is being sponsored by www.fashionwithfifi.com. Click on the link in the sidebar to be directed to the site, okay? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Y'all know what today is. Today I'm going to be doing my invisible parts quick weave, yay! And I'm going to be using my Grow Protect Solutions, which I purchased from Morning Glory... I think it's morningglory.net or I'll put the link in the sidebar where you guys can buy this. This is $24.99 and they have three different colors. I, this is Blackberry and this just comes out it's for darker hair. Um, then they have the clear for like, like blondes and you know other colors and then they have Sienna Red for redheads. So if you guys are redheaded or blonde or dyed redheaded or dyed blonde you could use those two colors so that it wouldn't discolor, you know, make your hair look a completely different color underneath. But I bought the Blackberry because my hair is dark brown. So, what I did, I took my sew-in down last night, which was Sunday, March 7th. When I got home from work, washed my hair, you know, did all my conditioning and everything. And um, I blow dried it, I oiled my scalp, moisturized my hair, and then I gelled it back into a ponytail, which I have plastered to the back of my head. <laughs> Compliments of the infamous black gel. And I think I used, let me check. I used Proclaim Protein Styling Gel. This is what I used. Um, so my hair, I did this last night, so of course it's dry. I didn't want to sit under the dryer or you know try to dry my hair last night so I just washed it and did it and slept on it um, what I'm going to do now this is going to be the beginning stage of me prepping my hair well actually last night was but to continue with it I'm going to go ahead with the morning glory solutions uh, grow protect solution and I'm just going to use a regular um, relaxer brush to apply this um, the directions Pretty much says shampoo hair, apply conditioner, rinse, blah blah blah. Wrap mold hair or braid hair. Make sure his hair is completely dry before applying Grow Protect solutions to the area which is in need of protection or which where where the glue will be applied. Um, place under heated dryer until uh, Grow Grow Protect solutions becomes dry for 10 to 12 minutes. After drying, proceed with style. So I'm almost there, washed, conditioned, gelled. So next one I'm going to do, I don't know if I should get a bowl, but let's see how this comes out. So it's like, it's like a real thick gel. And it smells good. So just going to apply it on my hair. And from the ladies here on YouTube that has used it, and from the girls on the on my Facebook page, I was told to use a very generous amount. My perm brush is really stiff. I'm glad this is not one of those products that smells horrible. There's a lot of stuff that's good for your hair smells horrible. So I'm pretty much just applying it. Trying to be as generous as possible without using too much. Probably just go run and get a bowl real quick so I can dip it. It's probably a bit easier and less messy. How I'm going to do the back, I'm just going to apply this going over the ponytail so that it's on there right. Got some excess. Again, guys, this is my very first time using this. 
and it's going. I'm trying to apply it as close to my part without um, going into the part. Oh my god, this stuff smells really good. <laughs> Very happy about that. Okay. pretty much go ahead and finish applying this to my scalp. So I have gotten my whole head coated with the Grow Protect Solutions and this is what it looks like. Really, really shiny. And my hair is like extremely wavy right now, which is a good thing. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, I'm going to follow the instructions and um, let it dry for about 10 minutes or so. I'll probably let it uh, dry a little bit longer than that um, because I want to rip this stuff off of the camera and in the next video you'll see me actually doing the doing the quick weave. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it was something else I wanted to say to you guys but I forgot. Um, the so, I mean, of course, I haven't did gotten this gotten farther than where I am now, but <coughs> something in my throat. Uh, so far, so good with this. Um, it has a very pleasant aroma to it. It's a lot easier to apply than what I thought it would be. Um, I didn't even use a bowl. I just used, um, like I said, the relaxer brush and just closed a little bit on there and just applied it. I'm hoping that I put enough in there. I mean, it looks like I put enough in there. And I don't want to keep overlapping it. But I think uh, while I'm taking this stuff off of the camera, I think I'll go ahead and look at it one more time online to see if I have to put another application on. And if I do, then I'll do so. But in the next video, I will start actually doing the quick weave. And again, I'm going to be using the uh, MBKS... Um, Brazilian water wipe, <coughs> excuse me, which <coughs> I took out last night and washed and everything. And um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it wavy or if I'm going to straighten it and, and cut layers. I was looking at um, Seaborn's channel. He's a hairstylist in in one of the southern states. I'm sorry, Seaborn. I, I know where you are. I just don't want to say the wrong state. But um, I'll put a link to his channel in the sidebar. And one of his most recent hairstyles was, I believe it was an invisible part, cut in layers and with some really, really nice, sexy, bouncy curls in it. And um, I can't remember the girl's name, but she had nice, long, dark, wavy hair. It was so pretty. So I, I really, I want to kind of kind of mimic that but I don't know if I want to conflict um, but whatever the case may be you guys will know um, I'm gonna probably I'm gonna do it different because of course this isn't the the um, sew-in the last time a lot of you guys asked me how did I braid my hair um, for the sew-in with the invisible part pretty much if you can envision my hair like this at the top and then just start braiding. I, I um, gelled this part down 
and I let it dry and then I just started braiding like you would for a normal um, uh, sew-in so I mean I know that probably don't help out too much but yeah that's what I did but this one it shouldn't take me as long because of course it is a quick weave and they're so quick to do um, I'm gonna try a little bit different though at the top how I um how I lay the tracks at the top I'm gonna try to do them closer together once I get up in this area so that it can look more fuller um, because of the last time of course that was the first time this is my second time doing this and I've had a lot of people ask me to do this in their heads and I'm like I want to perfect this before I go around saying oh that's what I did so once I get it perfected on me then that's when I'll start doing it on other folks but if you guys stay tuned for the next video you will see me doing the end doing the actual quick weave I'm gonna go and take all of this off of the camera just so I can make sure I have enough room because I have this video and other videos and other stuff on here too so I'll take a few pictures just showing how it looks with the Grow Protect Solutions and, it, and again I will put the link to all of this in the sidebar and I barely use that much I don't know if you guys can see how much I used I think it's about right here I used about that much it's probably too much I don't know but like I said we'll see I'm gonna go uh, take this off the camera look it up again on the internet make sure I don't have to do two applications and then get started on my quick weave once this dries alright guys stay tuned and I'll be right back Oh, <laughs> oh,